I don't agree with you because I think if you get two shy people <coughs> together, they're not going to talk, and I think you need you need opposites definitely attract mm. rather than you get Can two people of the well. same time. Well. I'm just wondering about people who are perhaps not worried about being alone. Do you are you by, by yourself? I'm happily single. Right. Very happily single. I'd like to say that what I believe, it's about expectation and belief, Esther. If you go out and you say to yourself, there's nowhere to go, I have no chance of meeting that ideal person, you'll get exactly what you're asking for. It's a law of belief. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And if you want to change your life for the better, then you have to change your belief. You have to get rid of all those negative aspects that you have. Well, what do you do? You do you feel? go out with different people all the time? Or do you have long-term relationships what do you do it just depends it just depends I have two children that I spend a lot of time with so you've been and married I enjoy. I've been married right. I will say I'm happily divorced <laughs> yeah I do have relationships happy relationships and sometimes it's time to move on because I chose to I find that I want for the moment to have a stress-free life right now I value my independence on my autonomy more than anything else and this is where I am right now so However, if you were to meet Steve for example yeah. and he wanted to uh, have a long-term relationship you'd say no thank you that's not necessarily what I would say I'm open to meeting somebody <coughs> lots of people basically, who are coming from the same place, who are non-dependent, are confident within themselves, and who can show their love, who know how to. That being yeah. enough, <coughs> you know about this. I mean, it's just all down to sort of self-belief and confidence, That's and right. if you want to go out to meet someone, you can look too hard. A lot of people here have all lived on their own, or have looked for somewhere to rent or buy. If you keep on looking for that perfect place, it will never come along. It just happens, and when it happens, it happens, you know? You mean a woman's like a house? Yeah, yeah similar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one door closes, another one opens, yeah. <laughs> what I believe that goes wrong is when your ego stops being fed. I've been doing some research, Esther, Go and on. the biggest thing that's come back to me is that what I'm looking for is my other half. Well, that implies you're not complete in the first place, and that's very worrying. You mean people tell you? They're people looking actually, they're looking for their other half. Are you looking for your other half? Complete. Last thing you <clears> want, is it? No, I'm happy with yeah. being whole. <laughs> yeah, yes. I don't want half of me out there. People who are desperate to be in relationships. <laughs> but no, well, let's see if it. that's true. I mean, madam, tell us about you. I've got the stage now where I feel I'm ready to get married. Um, Have I've you been ever married, been married? Yes, yeah. and I've had a long-term relationship. Um, and I think that all that was leading up to the period of the time in now. But there are times like just recently when a dinner party is finished and a lot of people have been round at the flat. And um, it would be nice to sit down with someone and have a brandy and just <coughs> relax after they've all gone. Um, those are the little times when I feel perhaps the, the lack of a partner. Have you tried <coughs> to meet people? Have you tried oh, I do, yes. I have great agency. fun, yes. I mean, I, I, I go out and I, I'm not seriously searching for a mate or a partner, but I like keeping my eyes open and I, and I enjoy myself. <laughs> um, uh, have you tried dating agencies? Or I've, like that? Yes, I've, I've written letters to the small ads in the papers. Have you? And I've been out with various people. <laughs> right, so would I be right in saying that when it happens, it happens when you're not looking for it? Yeah. Could, that be, could that be what, what we're saying here, that mm. the people who are with us today in the studio who think they're here to take part in a television programme, maybe if they were to share a drink together after the programme, just by chance, they might discover they had more in common than they suspected. Yeah. But we better not put that in their minds, because <laughs> if that's too much yeah. in their minds, they're going to try too hard. Is that right, Glenn? Yes, I agree with Phoebe. Yeah. And if at first you don't succeed, you can have quite a lot of fun trying again. <laughs> Thank you to all our guests. Thank you at home for joining us. Until next time.